Welcome back to game three. Well, not welcome back. Just welcome. Welcome to game three. This is a Zeri versus a me for the win in the JHUIAC KSA. Might as well be Zelnago Caverns StarCraft 2 tournament. No idea, TT. I don't know what was going on because I was unable to cast these live, but here are the replays. These are super epic games so far. Here we have chosen. Steps of War, I almost, uh, the, the map name almost skipped me because I don't play on this map very much. Uh, Zeri going to be throwing down a pylon in his base. What are they talking about? My MMR has matched me with only Masters though. I have no idea what they're talking about, but that's okay. So we're going to be in this game. We'll see how long it takes. All of these games are so long. And uh, Zeri here, the pink... Protoss player, Alliteration once again, is scouting in the only position that uh, Me for the Wind could be at. Uh, unless you're a gold player, then you would lift up your command center and feel that it's more safe over here. Or you could do that if you got cannon rushed. But uh, here comes the uh, SCVs chasing away the probe, gonna be throwing down a barracks back here. Nice pulled back defensive position. Zeri is going to be throwing down it. His gateway up front over here. So this was the JHU uh, tournament. We had uh, like 27 people, 20, 27, not too sure how many people came out for that, but uh, quite a bit of people. And this is the third, fourth place match. Uh, the winner takes home $25 and the loser takes away nothing. So there's quite a bit all on the line. Spending half a day at a tournament and going away with nothing except for a bunch of nice memories. Uh, is, is less than ideal, though it's still great. You went to a tournament, had fun for the entire day, and uh, went home. <laughs> so uh, me for the win is throwing up his two barracks, so he, we might be seeing some rush, or we be, might be seeing some quick expansioning. Uh, there's the probe getting chased by the SCV. SCV gonna be, uh, I guess, tagging along for the ride. Nope, gonna be pulling back. And it does look like Zeri is going to be throwing down his cyber core. It's just a tad late. Uh, could have thrown it down 70 minerals earlier. Me for the win is going to scout that with his SCV. Uh, the SCV also checking around over here. Attack moving actually just to make sure uh, any pylons are there. He can kill those off really quickly with the 5 damage of the uh, fusion cutter. Uh, range melee and uh, weapon speed 1.5. For you uh, weapons enthusiasts out there, let's check on the probe as well. It has the particle beam, damage 5, melee 1.5. It should have some sort of like stun ability because it does look like a, a zapper. It looks like this SCV is going to get smashed immediately. That's all doing 16 damage to its face and throwing down the Nexus right away. Looks like uh, Zeri is going to be playing for the macro game. However, me for the win is pushing forward with a couple of Marines. We'll see how far he decides to go with that. Nope, just as far as with his ramp is, is, is where he's going to go. I'm eating my own words here. Or it sounds like I'm eating my own words here. Here comes the barracks landing up front. More SCVs being produced and Marines really obvious here. Throwing down a factory. There's a little bit of deviation. Not really. He's been doing that for the past few games. SCV getting smashed there in the face. Did he see that Nexus? We'll see. Uh, vision cam it. No, he did not. However, he might have a clue because the Stalker and the Zala were pulled really far forward. So it does look like he will be starting his own command center relatively quickly. Knowing that Protoss cannot do that much damage up front. The three more gateways coming down. Very easy to support the four gates off of two bases, maybe even throw down a couple more gateways and do some sort of six gate push. Does look like this Nexus is about finished. Should be transferring some probes over there, getting some guys into this gas. Bunker being thrown down at the front, me for the win, looking very similar to last game. At least his opening is practices uh, quite a bit, I believe. Uh, should be making more SCVs over here, gonna be pausing for a little bit. This is probably a planned pause. Uh, loading some marines into that bunker. SCV is still guarding up front. Going to make sure it can repair in case of any uh, major bust up. Uh, but he, he probably does have a good feeling that this is going on over here. 
So his command center is about finished, should be morphing into an orbital command shortly as well. There's the siege tank and the siege mode upgrade coming up. Two barracks, gonna be pausing the marine production to resume SCV production and finish up the orbital command. Um, gonna be throwing down some supply depots up from no banelings to bust this entrance, so he is completely safe. Zeri gonna be working on this rocks really early. Looks like he might be trying to take a really fast third base. He's not quite saturated over here. He's even got these pylons on this side. Um, these pylons could probably be pulled back just a little bit more because uh, the sea chains can actually rain fire down on these from quite a distance. Maybe cause some supply blockage. An observer coming out onto the field to open up production for you. And there's the double forge gonna be going for those double upgrades. Definitely planning for the late game. Everyone who's played on this map has practiced the early game to help defend their natural expansion. So these games on this map tend to be quite epic and long. However, they did get rid of it in the map pool. Zerg players absolutely hated this map. I think Me for the Wind knows about this observer. No, he's just moving forward into that bunker. Going to be sieging a tank on his uh, ramp. The snowflakes starting to show up there. Not quite that many snowflakes. In this game, snowflakes are death. Anyways, um, the... Oh, I thought that was a third gateway. Whoops. It was a robotics facility. I uh, just immediately assumed that it was a gateway because that's what I usually do. And here comes Zeri's army. Going to be moving over here, helping to secure this expansion. Going to check that out, make sure there's no uh, hidden banshees over there. Does look like Me for the Wind is going for the generally the same build, but m more marines in in this one than before. There's another factory going down, so we should be seeing a, quite a bit of Hellions in the short time. If we are seeing the exact same build, also going to be popping by this watchtower. Very active with the SCV scouting from me for the win. Also, this probe checking for any move out action. Uh, good spotting by Zeri, despite um, not being able to move that out around as much as me for the win. But as long as you have that spotting, you are good to go. That SCV is getting a free look in here. Is going to be moving into the main. Going to see the robotics bay. Going to be seeing the Twilight Council. Will it see the double upgrades going? Um... It's moving over here. No, not quite. It's backing out and it will run into a bunch of army units. Does get taken out, so no seeing of the two forges in the backside. Throwing down a Nexus. Wow, what a fast third. It's only 11 minutes into the game. If this gamble pays off, he will be very good, very well off into the late game. Me for the win, content to pull back at his two bunkers. Um, basically, if he knew about this uh, expansion over here, he couldn't actually salvage these two bunkers and take a quick third himself as well. He actually has enough money to do that right now. And uh, more tanks being produced here. Not quite going for those Hellions yet. Not not getting this upgrade. There's no uh, armories out on the field just yet. This SCV going to be building uh, supply depots. Another idle SCV over here going to be producing some Vikings from this starport. He doesn't know about the Colossus that are on the way. And here comes the third expansion coming up. Uh, Zeri starting to produce probes at this expansion already. Uh, we'll take a look at the income tab. It is 47 harvesters for Zeri to 44 for me for the win. So me for the win. Uh, if he could get some Hellions out here, he once again do a lot of damage. If uh, Zeri is not careful, Blink is on the way as well. Plus two attack and plus two ground armor is also in the production queue. More sea shanks being produced here. And me for the win got the Vikings out on the field, continuing the turtle up. Same with Zeri, no major confrontation here. Maybe we'll see some sort of maxed out army battle uh, in the future. There's an SCV seeing this expansion, going to get taken out. However, great spotting by me for the win. He knows the timings of basically everything without sacrificing things like scans or uh, throwing away too many units to do so. There's the additional warp in. Zeri still sticking to his three warp gates and his one robotics. Should be trying to throw down additional units real soon. His upgrades are doing great. And there comes a dark shrine. And it does look like Me for the Wind is moving into the center of the map. Starting to build bunkers all over the place. He's going to set up a... Is he going to set up a huge siege line here? Oh my goodness, this could be very hard to break if he is able to siege tank bunker up this entire center. Going to be limiting a... a movement of Protoss to this half of the map if you follow my mouse 
along, maybe even just limit him to those three bases, and he'll have all of these bases here to take for himself. And that does include both gold bases, and here comes the landing. We'll be dropping a command center over here. He can even take this base relatively quickly with this type of positioning. Um, however, Zeri does have this watchtower. As long as he's able to lock down this path, it will be a lot of uh, expansions on this side of the map for him to take. And they, with the tanks in the middle will also help prevent uh, Zeri from taking the bases on that other side. Sea Shanks now starting to rain that fire down over here. There are some uh, photon cannons coming up. Zeri is pulling his army back. He can actually try to nibble away at the army units over here from the high ground. But he's not going to try to do that. Me for the win doing the Viking Flower going to be uh, preventing Zeri uh, from seeing exactly how many Vikings he has. A scan going down on the high ground. A uh, Viking is also helping the spot here. Does look like Zeri is going to move over here to this expansion. He's going to start producing more probes over here. Going to uh, continue to not worry about those sea shanks. Not going to try to best out here as early as I expect them to. The Hellions getting caught out of position. And the Blink getting used. Going to be taking out those Hellions. One Hellion does survive. Zeri lets, a, lets it live. The compassion for the Hellion Driver will allow that one to back out alive. Two command centers here, very interesting. I'd like him to, yeah, take this base. Maybe go ahead and take this base, kill off that pylon. I hear some uh, DTs somewhere. DTs. DTs? No, no DTs. All right, I heard DTs. But it probably got killed off. I didn't. I don't see them anywhere on the map. Um, there are the. There we go. The DT is moving in on this side. There's a sea shank over here. Will be not on attack with this uh, missile turret is getting targeted. More DT spawning over here. We'll see how much damage he's able to do. Does he have a scan save dump? He does. But there are no units over here. Will be forcing some units to pull back. The DT is going to be doing huge damage to this command center. Repairing, going down. The DT is doing damage. The, hell, the DT is moving to this side. The Hellion's trying to roast away. The DT is... Oh, the DT is not getting taken out. The scan going down once again. Going to be taking out this missile turret. Oh, not quite complete missile turret. Does look like me for the win. Almost lost his orbital command, however. Uh, he was able to hold that with a couple of Hellions. Zeri's uh, harassment uh, was not effective. And... Uh, all the probes are dead. Oh no, they're over here. The sea shank is denying this expansion from being mined from. He could probably mine from one patch here, but that's probably about it. If another scan goes down, uh, this this could go down. The nexus could pro possibly, yeah, the nexus is in range of that. Looks like we got the Zeri's army moving over here. We'll be using the range on the Colossus to cause this command center to burn down. The sea shanks now in range of one unit. Oh, this is a huge trouble for Zeri. He's just on one base right now. Or, well, one and a half bases right now while me for the win has the entire map for himself. He's going to push in here right now. The Vikings doing huge damage to the Colossus. And he is being forced to back up. His forces will...